Hello everyone, and welcome to Bob's Garden. I'm Bob. It's early spring here in the northwest hills of Connecticut, and it's time to prune lavender. When I lecture at garden clubs about pruning, I probably get asked about pruning lavender more than any other plant, but it's actually very straightforward. First thing I want you to notice is the seed heads that were left over from last season. In our area, lavender is not terribly hardy, so we leave these seed heads on for a layer of thermal blanket, and we also will cut some um, spruce like this, and not not this size, of course, but we'll we'll lay this over after the ground freezes to provide extra protection. And you see we're in this rock garden with a stone wall, so they're able to survive here. So the thing about lavender is that if we don't prune it hard, it's going to get woody at the base, and that wood will grow and grow, and after a while we won't get any flowers. So basically we need to take this down to about a six inch height. In the fields in France, where they have the big lavender fields in Provence, they have a mower, and they just mow the entire fields uh, down to six inches. So uh, we're just going to cut right through this. We don't have to worry about any place that buds this, and we're going to get a nice smell as we do this. And you can take that foliage into the house for potpourri. So we got to cut this tight, and I'll do half of it. So you can see the difference in height between what I've pruned and what's left. Okay, and there we are. Just want to keep this nice and tight every spring, and it will grow up to this height, and then just, we just bring it back down to this framework and we repeat every season. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and comment on these videos. And we'll see you next time on Bob's Garden. And remember, be curious, not judgmental.